This is a 2021 Brig Eagle 6 and today we're going to show you all the features and benefits this boat has to offer so stay tuned to hear all about this fantastic little boat. I'm Jonathan Parker from Parker Adams Boat Sales and this 2021 Brig Eagle 6 um, benefits from a Suzuki 115 on the back. A um, fantastic little engine, it'll push this boat to around um, 35 um, knots of speed, a really, really good cruising speed then of around 25 to 30 knots. Really smart, economical engine with a digital display. Um, but the features on this brig are quite sort of extensive really, so I'm just gonna go through them with you. They tried to make this a very sociable little boat where it can um, for a six meter boat. And the first thing we can see, there is a ladder on the back, but I also like the fact they've built in steps onto the tube as well. So once you get up on the ladder, you can actually then step up onto the tube just by here. And then you've got these non-slip tread. This features actually looks a bit more, um, this is kind of like a carbon effect part on here because the tubes aren't carbon effect, but these bits are, looks quite smart. I do like that. Um, but the benefit of here as well, there's actually a transom shower, a really nice feature, really useful for when you get back off the boat. You can wash your feet down, wash yourself down, get all the salt off so you don't get it all over the nice upholstery. Um, I quite like this as well. This is a little um, mast on here. Um, there is a pole that goes with here for a all round light. Um, so this is fully equipped with navigation lights. So we've got two on the bow on the front, but also we've got one here. And of course you can tow on this as well. So you can do some water sports off of this pole as well. So a nice little feature. And we can see it's well bolted onto the back of the transom. Um, the other thing as well, we've got pop-up cleats. So we don't trip over them. They can pop up and go nice and clean and flush to the, um, um, to the, to the hull which is really nice. Um, this comes with a well as well. So the well is very useful. So it makes this a better seagoing boat because if you have water coming up behind you, it doesn't wash into the deck like a lot of open sort of boats will. So this well will collect the water in here and it will drain back out so you don't get it onto the, onto the decks. As you can see on the back bathing platform, there's, um, there's um, like a teak effect. This is a soft teak, so it's not actual teak. It's a, what we call like a vatadec, it's kind of a foam. Um, so it's all throughout the boat. It's nice and soft underfoot. So when you're barefoot, it's really nice and soft. Um, and also on the back here, we've got a couple of cup holders. Um, and then we've got this nice little bench seat. Um, it's actually quite nice. There's sort of four to five, you probably get five at a squash um, with three at the back and two helm seats. Um, but there's nice grab handles, plenty of leg room actually um, for such a small boat. Um, so it's quite a nice setup. There's no jockey seats, they're sort of sit down seats. Um, and uh, so it sort of takes it away from a, a sort of a commercial feel because a lot of six metre boats um, have jockey seats. Um, jockey seats have their benefits because they keep you in place better. You can straddle them, you can stand up around them um, but some people prefer the bench seat especially at the helm just for comfort really um, so this does have the bench seat option um, but under here actually is quite good storage um, if we can get the camera in we can actually see it goes right back and um, you've got the battery switch here and we have a battery it's a single battery on this one um, and then there's actually storage sort of to the sides as well. The current owner has some fenders to the sides, which keeps the center bit clear. Um, and then um, it will be accessed then to um, um, storage tanks like water tanks and fuel tanks throughout the center um, of the deck. Um, so that's a nice area. The, it normally stores um, cushions down there as well, which I'll show you in a minute. But let's pop over to the helm. Now these seats you can see can um, be sat on like this. There's nice armrests. It's actually quite a nice sort of silver textile dark material. So it's not a leatherette. It's a nice feel to it. And it doesn't get too hot in the sunshine, even though they're black. It still gets hot, it's sunny, but not like the vinyl. You don't stick to it. So it's more of a breathable material. Um, and these can come up as well and with a nice stainless steel fitting underneath. So it gives you the option to stand then at the helm. Um, and also you can actually sit on top of here. Um, so you can have a slightly more elevated, so your head even in a sitting position now is above the windscreen, or you can drop right down to more protection with the windscreen. It's quite a large windscreen for a small boat, quite often they're a lot shorter. Um, so it gives you pretty good visibility um, and um, at the helm though, it's quite, it's very well equipped. Um, if you come round, we can actually see. Oh, actually, let me go back. 
Um, so we've got the chart plotter on here and we've got a digital display for the Suzuki system. I'll just turn the ignition on and the Suzuki logo comes up and then it will come up with all the engine information and you get fuel information from this as well. It'll also tell you the position of the drive leg. It'll tell you the fuel tank level and you can actually switch between certain options depending what you want it to show. It even shows your um, lat and long, how much fuel you've used, your average economy, things like that. And it's very useful. Um, it even tells you what gear you're in, if you're neutral, forward or reverse. Um, so we also have a VHF. It's a Garmin VHF to go with the Garmin chart plotter. And um, it has DSC, so emergency um, assistance on the stress button. And um, it, obviously it's all 2021 system, so all very modern system. And we also have on here, um, you've probably already spotted, we've got two Fusion speakers. And these actually are LED speakers, they do light up. So if you have a look, you can see the light in behind them, they're glowing red. Um, and we've got the Fusion head unit as well. Um, and so all the system works throughout. It does AM, FM, Bluetooth, and then you can plug audio accessories into it as well if you wish. Good system. Um, there's also a little cubby hole. Um, inside here though, there's a 12 volt socket, socket, but there's also a USB socket, a nice little feature as well, because that means you can pop your phone in here on charge and have it tucked away. Um, very nice. Um, all in all, um, it feels quite nice, quite well put together. I like the fact it's got Eagle 6 embossed in the flooring, that's quite smart. Um, the seating position is good. Uh, I wouldn't, the standing position you do feel quite close um, to here. So I think when I'm going along, I don't suppose, I'd probably feel like I'd need to do that. So it's a little bit close to the wheel. So I would tend to find I'd probably be more sat like this driving along um, and then stand up if I really have to. Um, but to be honest, getting the protection sat down is very comfortable. So it is the downside with this bench seat not having jockeys. Um, but at the same time, this is a more comfortable position sat down than on a jockey. Because jockeys tend to be quite hard. Um, under here as well, there is another cubby hole. There's more storage under here. And they've actually put the um, foam teak decking in here as well, which is quite nice. Because if anything goes in here, it doesn't rattle around. It just gives it some protection. I've just got the covers for the plotter and such like in there at the moment. Um, but now we'll move round. As we move round, we can sort of get an idea on the tube. There's actually grab handles on the outside. Um, these have a benefit if you're sat on the tubes, you've got something to hold on to. If you're in the water, you've also got something to hold on to. Because if you're in the water having a swim around and you start to get a bit tired and just want you to rest, um, you can just come up alongside and just hold on um, just for a little bit. And then you say you don't have to get on and off. It's always nice, there's a handle at the back as well. It's always nice to have grab handles. Of course, there's more up the front as well. So again, um, there's more grab hold to hold on to. And as you can see here, there's actually a lounger. So this has been set up um, as a lounger um, at the moment. So you can lay on here with your feet up. You could probably get two of you along here like that. You couldn't fully lay down um, unless you pull your knees in, um, but it's actually quite a nice, I would imagine at anchor, this is quite a nice place to be. Um, and you could even go along at slow speeds on the front here as well. I wouldn't recommend it at high speeds in case you get a whatever wash, you could end up bouncing around quite a lot. Um, but, um, um, but it's actually quite a nice place to be here on a sunny day on the River Hamble. Um, so this boat's actually on our dock. Um, this is our dock on the River Hamble. Um, we've got this boat for sale. It is a brokerage sale, so we don't own the boat, um, but we're selling it for the current owner. Um, but we're storing it on here um, because we've got for sale sign on the boat, We've got, we're at the bottom part of the River Hamble where everyone who comes out of the river will go past us. So it's a fantastic position to show um, and showcase our boats. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you what this looks like without the infill in place. So this board and these two cushions actually store under the bench seat as well. So really nice bit of storage under there. Um, also though, you can see it just turns into a double seat. Um, we have the anchor under here. Um, it's actually just stored in a bag. So the anchor's in a bag with some chain and rope. Um, the anchor point, you would need to attach it inside the locker, um, but then you would put it over and neatly, there's a hard fiberglass shell on the top of here. And then we've got a roller so we can pay out, play, um, pay out the anchor um, to the depth we want to, and then we can tie it off on here, knowing that the end is connected inside there as well. And we can even shut this um, if there's a loose line, because there's a little slot which is neatly put into the top here so the line can actually feed back into through there, but you tie it off on top of there. 
Um, here you can see a little stainless mounted uh, nav lights, it's quite neat. Very small, but because they're LED, they're actually very bright. Um, so they don't look much, but they're actually uh, um, very bright lights. Um, and then we've also got um, storage in here. So in here, what we've got is there's enough storage actually for the um, console cover and there's a small cover, I'm assuming there's a small cover over this part and a cover over the seating as well. Um, also, there's a, um, um, there's a package in here, which is a second all over cover. So um, this does have a full cover um, on it already, um, but it's, um, it's a little bit grubby. So the owner's actually got a new one as well to go with it. So you can have like a storage cover and then you've got a nice clean cover for the summer months if you want to cover the boat completely, or if you're using the boat regularly, and just want to cover, protect the, um, the main parts, you can use the individual covers. So there's lots of options there to protect the boat. So it's, uh, it's been well thought out. Um, it's not the only storage. Let me just lock these on. There's also, if you just click this, this neatly hinges. And then we've got more storage just in this compartment here. Um, and it also gives access through to other parts of the boat, including the fittings for the fuel tank. Um, so the fuel tanks under here, and then the water, um, and then the water tanks a little bit further down underneath the deck. So very, very neat and tidy. And the other thing as well, which has been added onto this, um, thank you, Nick, for reminding me, the whole boat can be lifted um, with strops. So it's been fitted with um, eyes at the front of the boat, and it's also got eyes down at the back um, of the boat where it can, where are those in? Let's have a look. It's got eyes in here as well. And that is lifting strops for the whole boat can be lifted on the strops then without having to put strops under the boat to go around the tubes. So it's quite a neat idea um, because um, we had a boat lifted um, just yesterday and they use strops around the tubes and they do go tight onto the tubes and can damage the rubbing straight. They can you know, damage the tubes if you're not really, really careful. Um, so really nice addition. Um, but um, I think um, apart from that, it's a very um, smart little boat. The engine um, will still be under warranty and we'll confirm how much warranty it has because it's only two years old. It'll either be a three or a five year warranty. We just need to confirm. I can't think off the top of my head how much it's got. Um, but as a six metre little all rounder, if you want to take the small family out, if you want to just do nice trips, um, just in, you know, in pretty fair to middling weather, um, then this is a perfect little boat. I really um, like these little brigs, the look of them. So if it's something that you're after, it's in very nice condition, come and see us at parker-adams.co.uk. Subscribe to our channel um, and you can see the other videos we have to offer as well. We've done quite a few small ribs. Um, so if there's something you're after, get in touch and we'll let you know how much it is. Bye for now.